previous law we looked at some of the contextual hindrances and constraints facing African cities. In this month, we want to look at some of the industry challenges and reality facing the AC sector in African cities. According to Macquarie back in 2010, during a conference on the future of cities in London that held on 3rd 2010, the United Nations Head of Housing Agency and Antibiotica proclaimed that after HIV and AIDS, the biggest threat to sustainable development in Africa is rapid and chaotic organization because it is a recipe for disaster, for increased tensions and for failure. So far in this chapter, I've seen that more people migrate to the city than the city can sustainably carry. But the policy and social makers are yet to realize the full potential of housing and an entity to economic growth. But as we saw in the previous model, there are also some constraints beyond the governments that hinder formal housing provision. The outcome of all this is a situation where a formal housing solution is set as the primary means of addressing the housing challenges. According to Stephen Biddings back in 2007, in many of African cities and towns, less than 10% of the population live in formal housing. For example, in Zambia, 74% of urban dwellers live in slums. In Nigeria, 80%. In Sudan, 85.7%. In Tanzania, 82.1%. In Madagascar, 82.9%. And in Ethiopia, it's targeting 99.4%. The Kibera slum in Nairobi has more than half a million people, packed into 225 hectares. The consequences of this are substandard houses, lack of infrastructure, and social amenities, generating no revenue for the government as most of the activities operate aside from the law. Therefore, the reality is that in the industry, the majority of the construction activities are disintegrated without the professional value and supply chain with a generally negative. Impact on the environment. And because the government cannot account for these activities, there is not enough data to evaluate the occupancy needs of the city dwellers. And without adequate data, there is still way the government can make informed policies to address the housing challenges. These are some of the issues we find facing the AEC sector in African cities today. I hope you have one or two things in this month. I'll see you in the next month.